with diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life. This wonderful planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidences which pinpoint the raising of livestock as the number one contributor to climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past two decades. We must be vegetarian, meaning an animal-free diet, and practice sustainable living. Today, we present to you part three of a 14-part series titled The Secrets of Venus, a discussion by Supreme Master Ching Hai with Supreme Master Television staff concerning the detrimental impacts of the meat diet on human health, the environment, and ultimately, the health of our planet as well as other planets. I have to check with my notes. The Martian wise elder answered me only three questions, and the rest are from the God of the Galaxy record. Eh? I'm very grateful to her, Goddess. Yeah, actually, they don't care about God or Goddess. Just it looks so beautiful. I think it's a she. <laughs> yeah, at least the two remaining Venuses, they worship God, yes? But they have only one religion. Ah, make life simple. <laughs> they all worship God. And the one religion, that is Almighty God, yes. So there is no fighting between religious differences, never. At least like that, they are more balanced, yeah? And they have three-fourths of the population of vegetarian. So there we are. European Parliament supports reducing meat to lower greenhouse gases. Call vote. Vote is now open. Reduce your meat consumption or stop eating meat totally. During discussions on greenhouse gas reduction goals, the Climate Committee of the European Parliament officially recognized livestock's contribution to global warming and recommended a reduction of subsidies to the livestock industry to curb methane. The European Parliament has adopted its own position on climate change as an institution and as a Vice President. One of the proposals I have made is in line with your own, which is that we should eat far less meat because that's one of the major sources of greenhouse gases. We know that uh, the agriculture and uh, the meat uh, production is one of the main cause of gas emission. And so it's very clear that the ratio per habitant of meat has to decrease. My name is Jan Solm. I'm a member of the European Parliament. Please, be veg. Go green, save the planet. Hi, Master. It's a great honor to have you with us today. I'm very happy and very, very grateful. I have two questions. Um, did the people who failed to save Venus have to reincarnate into another planet to make up for their mistake? For instance, as Earthlings in this era facing global warming. First, uh, let me check if I have any of that information somewhere. Okay, thank you, Master. Uh, welcome, just one second. Mm. These people, they have been born in hell-like existence for a long, long time. 
thousands of years. And then later after that, they were allowed to be born as humanoid again, but in some very, very frightening planetary existence where they have to live in constant fear, sorrow, and inner anguish. It's similar to hell. Will Earth be the last planet to be on the brink of extinction? No, it won't be the last, honey. As long as we still have cruelty and uh, immoral conduct, especially cruelty, especially killing action between each other or to a lesser, a weaker beings like animals. If any planet who have harbor or who practice such a lifestyle, they will also have to face uh, the threat of extinction, like what we are doing right now. I hope all the planet will awaken soon to be on the right yeah. lifestyle. <laughs> yes, you hope. <laughs> Let's hope our planet survives first. Yeah? And then, after that, everyone will be astonished about what kind of invention we will come to be able to experience. And then we can experience other planetary scenery or visit them, or they can visit us also. And That's we wonderful. can have uh, interplanetary connection. That will be very nice. Hello, Master. I have two questions. How are you? I'm hey. very fine. Thank you very much. How are you? Ah, good, good. What is your question, love? Uh, the critical mass has been reached uh, around March 2009. Uh -huh. We are getting better, you know. Sometimes I watch television and almost all the television are on the subject of planetary trouble and also on the subject of solution like vegetarian diet. Yes. Today, one of the Russian television flat one of the advertisements saying that, you know, the question, you know, is vegetarian the only solution to save the planet, etc.? And we are forced to be vegetarian due to planetary crisis, etc. I'm so glad. Maybe we can make it. Who knows? <laughs> wow, fantastic. Ah, good, good. And then we can come to see the other two remaining winners. Mm, that would yeah. be great. Maybe. Yeah. Then you don't have to ask me so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Your question seems simple. And my answer also simple. But I had to meditate and search the whole universe. And I had to write out whatever I can condense or uh, can translate into human language. And I have to write in a darkness, you know, with the a small flashlight, because I don't want to break my concentration and connection, you see? And sometimes it's not always uh, very pleasant for the eyes. <laughs> because sometimes when I get it, I cannot try to get my eyeglasses or anything like that. I have to do it quick. See, sometimes I scribble around. <laughs> I couldn't even read <laughs> my own writing <laughs> sometimes. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, another question. Ah. How many vegans are still needed to save the planet? I told you already, the whole planet should be. Thank you very much, Master. I don't know if they can be completely vegetarian, all of them, but at least vegetarian. Meaning, suppose if they have some cows as their pets, you know? The cows, you know, sometimes give extra milk. Then, of course, they're allowed to take them. Hmm? But I am afraid saying that there might be a loophole, you know? <laughs> they will say, okay, we will have like 100,000 cows as pets. <laughs> you know, then we go back to zero. I am just hoping that all the people became honest and truly want to save their own lives as well as the lives of their children. I ask all the gods, all the angels, all the divine intelligence to come down on this planet and to help us to awaken humankind because time is pressing and we don't have enough manpower. Honestly, like that. Because our group is very small, so I pray day and night. 
ask them to materialize themselves, use their power to influence people, to reason with people, wake them up, so they will be vegetarian quick. Hmm? Hmm. And of course, they are helping us, yes? We have to thank them as well, yes. The gods and goddesses and the angels, they materialize themselves for a short period of time on earth and uh, talking with someone or helping them to awaken. I do hope that with divine intervention, we might be able to save the planet because it takes too long for my liking. Hi, Master. Hi. Wow, it's just so much blessing we have. My first question is, how many physical planets vegetarian? Oh, plenty, plenty, of course, yes. Oh, wow. As many as uh, non-vegetarian planets, there are also as many vegetarian planets. Okay. It's uh, countless, countless. Our galaxy alone, there are countless already, yes. And these uh, vegetarian society planets, they are more advanced than us, yes. They even have a traveling belt, you know? You just wear a belt on your waist, like this, and then when you want to go somewhere, just push a button. Wow. Yes, yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah, very cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> push a button, then you wow. just fly, you know? Yes. Thank you so much. This is just one of the so-called invention of their planet. There are much more that we could never dream of, but we will have it. We will have all that and more if our planetary population became more compassionate, more calm, more developed inside through calmness, through meditation, through vegetarian diet, through compassion. People do research and they recommend, and they say that meditation calms the mind, yeah? Make your heart open and more compassionate, more intelligent even, see? Yes. But vegetarian diet will lead people there because there's no much calmness, no much result comes from meditation if we are not compassionate. Even if we could uh, have more intelligence through meditation without the vegetarian diet, then uh, we don't have enough compassion, you see? Then we will use our power in a very destructive way. It won't be any good. We probably just earn some merit, physical merit, just like those on the first and the fourth Venus planet who probably had some merit in the past life, you know, through meditation or through some contemplation, but without developing a compassionate side to balance it. Therefore, they reborn in Venus with all the merit they got all the intelligence that they've got, but lack compassion. They kill anyone who talk about compassion, who talk about God, who talk about moral standard, immediate but, you know, prolonged and painful death. Therefore, they could not survive. Wow. I can't wait for the day when everybody is just happy and they never have to wake up to fear another day of sadness. I know. Me neither. Sometimes... I thought I could not even bear one more second not to talk about Thank you so much, another day. Vegetarianism and religion. The Baha'i faith. Regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that in the beginning of creation God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings on some aspects of health and healing. Buddhism. All meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra. Also, after the birth of the baby, care must be exercised not to kill any animal in order to feed the mother with meaty delicacies and not to assemble many relatives to drink liquor or to eat meat. Because, at the difficult time of birth, there are innumerable evil demons, monsters and goblins who want to consume the smelly blood. By ignorantly and adversely resorting to the killing of animals for consumption, they bring down curses upon themselves which are detrimental to both the mother and the baby. 
Kasiti Garba Sutra, Chapter 8. Be careful during the days immediately after someone's death, not killing or destroying, or creating evil karma by worshipping or offering sacrifice to demons and deities, because such killing and slaughtering committed, or such worship performed, or such sacrifice offered, would not have even an iota of force to benefit the dead, but would entwine even more sinful karma into previous karma, making it even deeper and more serious. Thus, delay his rebirth to a good state. Karma means retribution. Kasiti Garba Sutra, Chapter 7 Gaudai, the most important thing is to stop killing, because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints Christianity meats for the belly and the belly for meats but God shall destroy both it and them Holy Bible And while the flesh was yet between their teeth ere it was chewed the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague Holy Bible Confucianism all men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius. Essenes. I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood, and if ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Hinduism. Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life, you are responsible for killing them. Therefore, you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adelila. He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu. Islam. Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith. Do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith. Jainism. A true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been specially prepared for him involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Katanga. Judaism. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible. Blood meaning flesh. Sikhism, those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh, and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts, and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib. Taoism, do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field, tract of the quiet way. Tibetan Buddhism, the offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure, the supreme path of discipleship. Zoroastrianism, those plants I, Ahura Mazda, or God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow, Avesta. Everybody knows that vegetarian diet is good for health and to save the planet. They will be awakening their own great, compassionate, loving self-nature, and then their level of consciousness will rise up automatically and they will understand more than they ever did and they'll be closer to heaven than what they are right now. We enjoyed your company today for Between Master and Disciples. Tune in next Friday for part four of Supreme Master Ching Hai's insightful discussion titled The Secrets of Venus. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Animal World, Our Co-Inhabitants, up next, right after Noteworthy News. May divine blessings fill your life with wonder and peace.
For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.